Brian Bull TV here today again to talk to you today about Terrell Quincy. Is Terrell Quincy tripping? Now, before I um, say, I you know extend um, the details, expound upon the details of this video, I want to say years ago, you know, Terrell Terrell has been making videos for years, and years ago. About 2013 or so, when I got into the bully game, I thought um, his approach was um, too extreme. I thought his um, passion about the breed um, at the time, I thought it was, not to say it was too much, but I thought, I thought his approach was, I thought his approach was too extreme. And I, and I um, thought he was hating on Dax, like a lot of people do. I thought, that's what I thought. Um, and as the years went by, and through my, some of my own experiences, um, I realized that he was right. So then I went, so when his videos would pop up, I started to watch. After I had, you know, dogs with allergies, um, dogs that weren't necessarily healthy, I said, you know what, I think I should give this guy a try. Let me, let me click on it. Um, he starts talking about health, confirmation. And I'm like trying to be objective about the information that he's um, putting out there. And I say, you know what, it does make sense. Even if, you know, all those years ago, I didn't like his approach. What he is saying is best for the breed. And I couldn't understand his approach because I didn't understand where he was coming from. Now, if you were someone that helped to start the breed, right, the standards for the breed, and then you saw people going away from exactly what it was, the vision that, that you and other friends were trying to create for the breed, I would be just as pissed off as he was too. And I now understand why he is so passionate about the breed why he is so strong on his stances and his beliefs about the breed. He's not tripping. I can tell you that for a fact, regardless of what you've experienced with him, even if you say, oh, Terrell is a bad person because I, me and him got in a fight. Me and him, um, we had a problem with business before. If you objectively look at the information and the content that he is putting out, there's no way you can say that this guy is trying to do damage to the American bully breed because number one for him is health, number one, and, and, number, and also confirmation. And when you find so many people in this community today that, that don't even care about it, um, you end up like me, spending thousands of dollars on dogs that um, either have died or dogs that you had to place and neuter or spay because they weren't breed stock. And um, everything that we breed, that, that we produce and breed should be um, dogs that should be breedable and that are bred towards the standards. Um, like he said, let his page be a source of information. I know some people are not gonna like what I'm saying, but it's true if you just objectively look at what he's talking about. You know, if you like exotics, you're not going to like what he has to say. If you love docs, you're not going to like what he has to say because he's going to talk about the health issues um, and the bad confirmation as well. Someone just called me uh, what, about two weeks ago talking about um, some docs that they had. I believe it was some muscle tone blood for a dog that they had that had a hip, hip problems. <clears throat> and Terrell has talked about that. But I had never heard anyone say anything about it before because I didn't think it was possible for pocket, pocket dogs to have hip problems. The guy told me that he, um, and, I, and I, you know, I'm not mentioning names, this dog he bought that had muscle tone blood, um, he had to, not even by his own choice, his vet told him that his dog should not be bred and his vet neutered his meal because he said, this is not breeding quality. This is a congenital problem. It wasn't due to trauma from an injury. It was something that was in the blood, in the genetics that would be passed on. 
So you do the math. Terrell talk, always talks about docs, but people, you want to breed the docs, you want to double up on the blood. Um, he talked about heart murmurs. No one has ever called me about heart murmurs, but the hip issues, the allergies, the bad confirmations, it's always been a problem. But I can say for sure that what Terrell, Quincy, and the Hall of Fame bullies is putting out there is credible. Um, you know, that's all I have for you today. Um, stay tuned for another video. Um, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome to the family. If you like the video, subscribe and share. We will see you next time.